Hey guys, it's Shadow. This is episode 5 of my 1k to 1k4 series, and this time we'll be focusing on military upgrades and when to get them. We'll start off by looking at ranged units. Generally speaking with the ranged units, we want to focus on the attack upgrades from the blacksmith first. Skirmishes do however require armor upgrades to be particularly effective against the massive archers though. The most important stats for archers are the range and attack generally speaking. In regards to foot archers, the crossbow upgrade is generally more important than bodkin arrow if you cannot afford both, but bracer is more important than arbalest. Crossbows produce faster than archers have one extra range and damage, making it all around more effective than bodkin arrow. Whereas arbalesters do not get additional range and only get one extra attack and 5 HP, making bracer a more powerful upgrade generally speaking with the plus one attack and range. Ballistics changes how effective archers are against moving targets considerably, and as a result is huge in dealing with cavalry and other range units when micro is involved. Thumb ring increases the firing rate and accuracy of ranged units. It is significantly less important for skirmishers, but is a huge upgrade for cavalry archers. This is due to their lower rate of fire and inaccuracy. In an archer war involving no skirmishers, getting the two archer armor upgrades can allow you to take better fights than normal, but otherwise aren't prioritized too much. They are still important to get at some point and are very strong on elite skirmishers in particular, allowing them to take only one damage per crossbow shot. Melee units generally prioritise defensive upgrades as they will be in close proximity to a large number of units and can be kited by ranged units. The attack upgrades will still be important to get at some point though. Bloodlines for cavalry increases the number of attacks most cavalry can withstand against most non-pikemen line units by 2, making it a strong upgrade to get. Generally, you'll get this on the web to Castle Age if you're planning to go cavalry throughout Castle Age. Knights are a little slower than most other cavalry units, making husbandry pretty important for them. This makes it so cavalry archers in particular don't kite them as badly. If you are planning to dive through Town Center fire or take fights against crossbows in early castle age, plus 2 armor is extremely important on knights. In general, eco upgrades do take priority over military upgrades. Unless you are in need of taking a fight in early castle age, always prioritize bow sword and heavy plow. A notable exception to the economy upgrades first rule is on archer builds, where horse collar is generally skipped until castle age is clicked. Squires can make a huge difference in terms of infantry being able to engage on other units, due to them being pretty slow to other unit types. Always check your own and your opponent's upgrades. There will be times you may need to get an upgrade earlier than normal. For example, Magyars get free melee attack upgrades and it makes it so that knights will be able to take cost effective trades against your own knights until you have researched iron casting. I hope this has been a helpful insight into what military upgrades are generally prioritised on each unit and their importance relative to other upgrades. The next video will be about countering units and unit compositions. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with this series. Thanks for watching.